What's going on guys? Welcome back, Leo Pazzo Productions. Thanks very much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at a brand new monitor here by Desview, the R6. We might as well just call this monitor the 2800 ultra bright monitor because exactly what it is it is super bright 2800 nits 5.5 inch screen hdmi in hdmi out all these cool features touch screen zoom in false colors focus peaking histogram waveform vector scope dc in dc out headphone jack 3d lutz the list goes on. I can't even name them all, all the features that we have. I'm telling you right now, guys, for the budget, for the brightness, for everything that comes included in the kit, even this little cloth here that we get to wipe the screen because yes, the screen will get some fingerprints, obviously, as it is a touch screen. The only button that we have on this monitor is the power on and off button here that we have at the top. We have quarter inch threads one here at the side which can allow us to mount the monitor at the side if we like we also have quarter inch thread at the bottom which i'm currently using right now on the small little tripod we have hdmi in here at the side we have hdmi out which is one of my favorite or one of many of my favorite features of this monitor hdmi out love it i can power this bad boy with a dc barrel jack which basically means i can plug it into the wall right into the monitor i don't need to use any kind of batteries with this because i'm at home right now filming why would i be using this monitor with a battery i might as well just be plugging it into the wall you know what i mean i know what i mean fantastic for me to have dc in and just to kind of top it off oh why don't we just take the dc out and power something else so we also have a dc out right here and it says eight volts DC out. So for an example, one of the things that you can power via that DC out is your camera. How could you do that? Well, for an example, here's a dummy battery. You would plug this dummy battery into your camera and the other end of this cable, and that will be able to plug in your DC out, which is going to power your camera or DC out to a wireless HDMI system. So as we move along the, the unit over here, we have DC in, DC out and we have HDMI in, HDMI out. As we briefly talked about the batteries, we can install the Sony style or the Canon style, I believe, uh, NPF style batteries. This is a larger one, which is NPF 960 to NPF 970. We do have the medium size, which is NPF 750 to 770. And I also have the smaller one, which is NPF 550 to 570. So those are the three different MPF batteries that I currently have. I have a few other ones. I prefer to use the larger one just because I don't have to swap batteries as often. Or if better yet, if I don't have to use batteries at all, like I said, the DC in is one of the features that I'm telling you that I look for when I purchase a brand new monitor. So installing the battery, it just simply clicks in one way. It only goes in one way and it actually locks in because there's a little lock button here at the bottom. So it's not like the battery is going to come out at all while you're shooting. But so if you do need to take out the battery, just make sure you press the unlock button by pressing it in and then just sliding the battery off to the side. Just plugged it in. As you will see, once you plug in the battery, the monitor automatically turns on, which is a nice feature because you're basically up and running to go in a matter of seconds. As soon as you install the battery, the screen is on. So all I really need to do now is get my HDMI cable from my camera, which I'm just going to simply plug in here to the GH5, plug it in there. And now I want to mount my monitor to my camera. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? Hopefully we covered all the features on the outside of the monitor that I wanted to cover. We do have here at the top of the monitor, some little uh, grill for vent for the fan, for it to breathe, for the cooling, because it is ultra bright. The monitors obviously need to cool down. So that reminds me the fan, it does have an internal fan, which a great feature is that we can have full control of the fan by turning it off. We can put it on auto. We can put it on high, medium, low. So that is fantastic. Fantastic that we have full control of the fan. If you do need dead silence, you can turn off the fan. I just left it on auto and so far it hasn't been affecting any of my audio so far in any of my videos. So this fan right now, 
um, I can feel that there's a little bit of warmth coming up from here at the top because this is where it's exhausting and maybe you know getting some new fresh air we also have some vents here at the side we have auto that's the setting that I have my fan set to I could fully turn the fan off if you wanted to so right now it is dead silent there is no fan on at all period which again if I really needed that I will turn it on off but this uh, video right now the mic is literally right beside the camera let me go ahead and just show you guys right here so like yeah look there's the monitor there's the microphone monitor microphone so they're right next to each other let's do a little test then in that case let's turn it on auto this is what it sounds like for auto let's go ahead and turn it on low medium and high so yes when it is on high I can hear it I can hear the fan right now I don't know if you guys can let me just keep quiet let me put it on auto that's auto so I found auto is probably the best bet I don't want to overheat it I don't want to drain my battery I figured auto it knows when it needs cooling and that would probably be the best option for me because it's one less thing for me to worry about we do have an SD card here at the bottom of the monitor that comes included with the monitor 128 megabyte SD card and why do we need this SD card well we can load our own custom LUTs to the monitor which has been very helpful from to me with the R6 and along with the R7 and overall loading 3D LUTs has been very important as I mentioned because filming in Z log with the Z cam with the flat profile loading my own custom LUTs so I know what it's going to look like later on in post so like while I'm filming I'll know what it's going to look like when I color grade it or when I apply the LUT in post production so that is also a nice feature that I'm loving on these desk view monitors. But let's go ahead and briefly just talk about this mount over here. This mount is included with the desk view monitor, which is fantastic. And it's more leaning towards like a professional mount here. It just feels nice and strong and sturdy. And it just connects to our camera via or our camera rig via the hot shoot mount over here. So we can just simply put it on the hot shoot mount and get the monitor whatever way you want to mount it we have a quarter inch at the side and at the bottom i've mostly used the bottom quarter inch and you can see here even just with one thumb i briefly just got it snugged up on there so let's go ahead and plug in this hdmi cable and bang now we're grooving i just need to power on my camera and i'll be getting the signal to the monitor and i want to give you guys an example on how bright that bad boy is right there Full control of the brightness right here at the side if you just touch the screen here at the side you can just scroll your finger up and down and you can see that the monitor is just getting brighter as I go up that's hundred percent and I can dim it down right there to like zero percent overall here on my rig it just feels nicely balanced I can tilt the monitor as I need okay and I'm filming right now with a 12 millimeter lens as you can see the monitor is kind of tilted all the way down as much as I would probably need it if I'm filming like a low shot. So the menu that we have on here consists of the same type of menu style that I have on my desk view R7 monitor, which is you simply just click it and you have the menu button over here on your left hand side. You can just simply go through all the tabs. Everything is kind of touch screen and you can just go through it and adjust all the kind of settings that you need. Desk view R6, I noticed this new menu, which when you touch on the screen, it has it all over here towards the bottom, which is just the same functions, the same setting controls. It's just laid out differently. It has a picture along with it, and you can just easily click on each one as you go across and you can have full control of the settings right there as well. So I really like this menu, this new design menu, along with the original older style menu. So guys, another cool feature about the R6 that you guys should know about that's going to help us save battery life. And along with that, it's just going to adjust the brightness on its own if we have it set on the auto setting. Because there is a built-in sensor right here on the corner of the screen. And that sensor, when you have it set to auto or set to on, it's going to adjust the brightness itself. So just so you guys have an idea, here is my key light, the main light of my shot that I'm filming right now. And 
the sensor is facing the light so I'm assuming that it is set at pretty high. So let's go ahead and block the sensor and see how the monitor reacts. As you can see the monitor just dimmed. I'm going to go ahead and remove my finger from the sensor. And as you can see it got much brighter. Let's try it again. This auto setting is going to help us save battery life because it's going to dim it when we don't need it that bright. And again, it's very easy to just manually adjust the brightness for this monitor as well. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you another option over here to powering the R6, which I am currently doing right now with this V mount battery. This is a Moment Power 99 V mount battery, which has a D tap port output on the side over here along with this side and we also do have a USB output ports at the top as well. So this is a nice very small compact V-mount battery that's going to allow us to power our camera accessories and lighting etc. And as you can see via this D-tap cable over here at the side and at the side DC in of the R6 we are powering it via that route right there with that cable. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know down in the comment section down below. I wanted to share with you guys as much information as possible along with the setup and all the features and the reason why I like the monitor and all the things that we can kind of do with it. You really just got to spend some time, get used to it. There's a lot of settings and features within the menu itself. Overall, the setup and use is very easy. I enjoy it. I would definitely recommend it. So if there's any specific questions or anything maybe that I did not cover in the video, let me know in the comment section down below. Maybe I'll make a video answering your question or maybe just simply answering your question in the comment section. So much love. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Go ahead and subscribe if you guys have not subscribed already and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.